I've started recording. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> Hello. Hello. So, why are we here? Uh, that's a very good question. Why are we <laughs> here? <laughs> 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 it's one of the li life's biggest questions. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I mean, why are we here? <laughs> 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 uh, so like it's um, mm, it's the end of the July. Uh, yeah, we then. yeah we uh, we have like returned from some summer things and stuff. And because the lighting is good, we we figured we could like record and stuff. So it's like writing corner update video. July edition. Wee. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell how much energy we've both got this morning. Yep. How much brain power uh, <laughs> yep. we're willing to contribute. Yep. <laughs> we realized that uh, we would not be able to contribute anything into the collision course right now, so. Uh, so we're just sitting here and try to look pretty and stuff. You know, you know, I haven't got much brain power when you were uh, you were doing the whole intro spiel sort of thing, and I'm sitting here looking at this wall, and I'm like, "That's a really nice orange, <laughs> man. Uh, that orange." <laughs> like, so that's the limit today. <laughs> look, a tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, so. Um, I don't remember when when the last uh, writing corner update was. I think it was one of those very active uh, collision course weeks. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. it it was it was the uh, writing burst week. So what have we been up to since then? I think it was like June stuff. I've just been prodding and poking at things like Mirror's Legion and Split Personality. Uh, I've started doing this thing where I've got this habit of breaking down my notes into chapters mm. um, but uh, that's possibly okay it helps me organize things but it's possibly not the best way to do it but I've started doing it in chunks now mm -hmm. so instead of writing it out all like say a book is for example Mirror's Legion is 16 including the epilogue mm -hmm. instead of writing the guides out for all 16 chapters I'm writing them out in in chunks <laughs> now so like I'll do one to five mm -hmm. and I'll write the first drafts of those get those to a position that I'm I want alpha readers to sort of I, mm -hmm. I call them alpha readers they're like first draft readers mm -hmm. I'm going to get them to read it give me some feedback improve mm -hmm. that chunk and then move on to the next chunk. So breaking yeah. it down. Yeah, I think that's not even alpha reader. That's like prototype reader. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't know what all the terms mean. I yeah, just I, f I think I think yeah. all the for I think for somebody in like publishing industry, the terms or like some very organized uh, indie out there, all these terms mean a certain thing. But I think mm. everybody who is using them is using them a little bit differently, I guess, probably. Yeah, possibly. Just, just, just a hunch. So, so yeah, I would think that when, when you get some first draft done and then have people read it, then it's more like prototype check. And mm. when you have already like a solid second draft, that's what you could call alpha readers and then mm, if you okay. have and then if you have like a solid third draft that's like pretty clean already that's that that's for beta readers and then mm. so after the beta readers you're already working out the clean version yeah. and, then, and then after beta readers like proofreaders and that sort well, of thing well proofreading right. is the final polish already proofreading oh. is proofreading is is the final stage before release so oh man, what I've been doing this what for years now and I'm so confused yeah <laughs> yeah so so all the prototyping and alpha and beta readers those are part of the edit uh, writing writing and revision process but then when mm. you're already in editing that's where that's a whole other country that's that's like how it prototype readers yeah, that's that's how it works in my my head at least. 
It's canon now. Yep. <laughs> Too late, it's solidified. Uh, so yeah, that's what I've been doing. Uh, I've got the first five of Mira's Legion done, and the the nice thing about that is that I don't have to make them perfect. Like mm -hmm. they can be. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, they can be uh, sort of kind of rough as long as they get the story mm -hmm. across. Yeah. Because um, I'm not I, I'm not looking for like feedback on spelling yeah, or anything like yeah, that at yeah, this yeah. point it's just does this story is this story interesting mm -hmm. what do you think of the characters uh, is is this worth continuing down this path or should I change a few things um, so we'll see and I'm going to do I'm going to do the, fir the same thing with split personality as well but the, the other thing is with split personality I've I'd like to if possible um, write sort of like the uh, the first five chapter synopsis thing that I've got going on mm -hmm. and then uh, I'll keep it brief I'll then give you those chapter synopsis to sort of inspect and, mm -hmm. and, and cor correct and, and all the good stuff that you do uh, and then send it back to me and I'll then write based off of these new these updated chapter notes essentially and then okay. we come back together and, and work on split personality mm -hmm. um, so that means I can sort of work on it in the in the background mm -hmm. once I've yeah. finished with these other yeah, pieces. Yeah. Uh, side note: so uh, split personality for for our clueless uh, readers, watchers out there, uh, Mirror's Legion and uh, Split Personality are your solo projects in Chaos Nova Universe. Mm, yeah, kinda. Mirror's Legion is is especially a solo project, but I think. When it comes to split personality, we need to work together. Okay, 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 okay. But right. em emphasis on the in Chaos Nova universe, uh, universe. So stories in Chaos Nova Universe. Whether uh, how we work on them exactly okay, is yeah, is like yeah, yeah. that's that's already our stuff. But but like yeah. for, for the reader, and when you say Mirror's Legion, you mean the advanced version or the already revised version, not not the stuff that uh, you've released in the website, but bouncing off of that. Yeah, yeah. Mm. The feedback that I received from that Mirror's Legion allowed me to create this mm. much better version, I think. Uh, but, oh yeah. W I could spend all day talking about split personality in Mirror's <laughs> Legion, but I think <laughs> I will spare our viewers that until they become more relevant. Um, okay, yeah, when we have s something to show. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. So again, this depends on when was the last time we released some something, an update. Uh, yeah, let's let's say middle of June something. So I have I have I have mostly done local things. So I have hmm, mostly finished uh, the uh, local. Uh, shared universe story and right now it's like I, I, I did some revisions there and I, I don't think the current version is still the final final version but it's it's pretty close so it's like uh, after the feedback from from the other guys who are writing into into that uh, shared world uh, I expect to do some minor changes but not uh, not anything too big and then I have been piling out some small notes for uh, my own Chaos Nova solo story. So the uh, the sequel, base camp sequel, or the story that I broke off from the general flow of the base camp story. I I really should start putting text together for that already because I, I have tons of backstory notes and I have all that mm -hmm. and and I know that for many people the the first story kind of uh, it, it uh, uh, they felt it was like unsatisfactory or like it, it felt uh, it felt incomplete or it like it's like so I got to the end and it turns out this is part one 
No, no, no. That's that's <laughs> that's not what I meant. But okay, if you if you feel like it, then I I really should sort of step on it and and make sure that uh, that it's clear that the that the story will go on. <laughs> and let's see what else. Well. <laughs> We just released uh, July's reactor yesterday, so everybody's a little bit uh, uh, a little bit hungover from the work <laughs> burst. <laughs> uh, and and last weekend it was this year's Estcon, yay! <laughs> and uh, I think uh, I think pretty much everybody shares this sense that wait, it's already over. So so yeah, it's, it sort of ended too soon. I feel, although I I don't think I had much more energy to go on. <laughs> 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 oh, I should I should pack up my tent because now it's uh, I left my tent outside to air out, and it mm -hmm. was very nice and windy yesterday, but now it's raining, so I should bring no. I should I should bring it in before it gets wet. No, it's uh, it, it's okay. It's it's not out in the open or anything, but like. Oh, okay. Cool. But but I don't want the moisture to seep in. <laughs> so yeah, little everyday problems, issues, stuff. Also, all the, you can't see it from here, but I can. There's like when, uh, uh, when you're going out, when you're like like a serial camper, mm. then all the semi-unpacked shit just piles up everywhere and it's like oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually got all my room and everything essentially loaded into a bunch of bags mm. uh, because I was planning on going somewhere the other day and I didn't end up going there in the end Aww. but all my stuff is still just packed up and yeah I thought oh I, c I could do some some 3D printing but then I've got to put the printer back together and uh, load all the everything into yeah. it, and it's just easier to sit and write. So yeah. I'll do that instead. <laughs> that is that is a good point, actually. If you do, if you sort of pack up your distractions and you don't have mm -hmm. much more than your writing tools, and say, yeah, I have nothing else to do. I, I have to write now. <laughs> the laptop is essentially the only thing that's sort of handy and mm -hmm. available. So. What I'm using. <laughs> yeah, although some sometimes it doesn't work either. Like uh, at the beginning of July, uh, first and second week, uh, I I spent like five six days in the countryside, and I had sort of nursed the idea that it might become a little writing retreat. And they did have some pending writing goals that I really had to finish up and in the end it was raining all day so i was i was sitting on the quote unquote porch or like mm. on on the, on the steps facing the forest and and uh just reading old stuff from the screen <laughs> but yeah it's been pretty chill i think yeah we've we've done some some things but it's been kind of relaxed despite the fact that yeah you went to estcon Estcon was, as I understand it, pretty chill, man. Yeah, it so was. It was. It was very mellow. Yeah. We like mellow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I think uh, w one of the reasons why it feels like it ended too soon is that somehow uh, I think I only talked to half of the people who I thought I was gonna talk to mm. so it's like uh, even though we were all there and we actually saw each other and we sat next to each other like uh, I, I, I think there's a little bit of contrast from last year uh, I think my immediate emotion from last year is that uh, I didn't have a conversation that that, that was uninteresting so it's like it oh. was it was it was all the, uh, like last year there was more mingling and more more chatting because I didn't know anybody and uh, this year it's mo it was more like catching up with everybody and getting into sync with everybody uh, 
and I guess all the sort of socializing was more thorough, but that also mm -hmm. meant that I, I actually spent time with less people. Oh. But yeah, it was it was very mellow. <laughs> very smooth. <laughs> And and it wasn't as hot as last year. It was uh, the first night was uh, was rainy actually, and yeah, and the food was good. That's always nice. Tasty food. Mm -hmm. There is this uh, special. Uh, uh, in the second day, we we have uh, catering for lunch and. It was the same caterers last year. Uh, I, d I don't know if, if they go there every year or what, but mm. but they have this uh, special uh, tomato garlic uh, minced meat soup. That's like it's it's, it's a very very rich soup. It's uh, it's the perfect uh, hangover food. And then <laughs> uh, next to it, like on top of it, you can pile on some cream, either sour cream or just uh, heavy cream. Uh, that's whipped up, so so that's that's like <laughs> a a very solid soup, let's say. <laughs> and nice. And now I can kind of taste it, and now I miss it. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So so yeah. So so there is so there is this uh, there there is this little bit of emptiness inside uh, because uh, it, it all passed too soon. But oh. now we have to go on, and we have to right and be good uh, good nerds so that next year will bring us more soup <laughs> <laughs> the end goal is soup mm -hmm. the end goal of, of this has always just been soup yeah <laughs> the soup is life <laughs> uh, right. very cool, very cool. <laughs> Rich mm. soup is tight. <laughs> 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 uh, okay, uh, so since we're all chill and stuff, uh, what about the plans? I understand that you have some traveling plans going on. I do, yeah. I'm gonna. Uh, <laughs> yes, sir, I do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir, I do. Um, I am going to a uh, sort of self imposed writer's retreat. Uh, I think it's on the 6th. I have to check. I, there, things need to <laughs> But at some point in the next month, I am doing a thing and going to a place uh, that is not this place. It is another place. And I will be using the time to hopefully write. Mm -hmm. um, I figured out how to get the internet on my phone and use it as a hotspot, uh, a reliable hotspot instead of what it used to be. Um, so that's cool. I'll be able to connect to the internet and get all my worky work done. Mm. Uh, and then in September, I've booked a one-way ticket to Europe on a ferry for like forty pounds, ridiculously cheap. It was like <laughs> the cheapest I've ever paid for it. Usually, it's like a hundred and thirty. This is like ridiculously cheap. Um, so I thought I'm having that. And uh, yeah, and then I'm going to get to Europe and treat that as a bit of a sort of escape writer's retreat deal as well. Um, so yeah. Self imposed writer's retreats are tight! <laughs> yeah, man. And also, uh, when, when I'm in Europe, I'm also going to be hanging out with uh, Claire, who's mm -hmm. progress on the Seeker translation into mm -hmm. Italian. Have we got any Italian viewers out there? We might do. Claire might point them in this direction. Um, but surely if you're already friends with Claire, then you probably already know that Claire is doing a Seeker translation. But yeah, that should be uh, available soon or at some point in the future. Mm -hmm. uh, we will keep you posted on that one. Uh, That's cool. we, we, we will need to negotiate that, but uh, an idea for sort of uh, early access signal boost is if she can pick up uh, pick out uh, uh, smaller chunks or smaller samples uh, we could uh, help sharing those so that's it's like pretty cool idea yeah so the basically the same thing that we did with original seekers to post bits and pieces 
uh, either either via Twitter or or Facebook or whatever. So whatever channel uh, works best, but basically to s start showing those uh, early access, uh, not final draft, but uh, but like solid draft bits uh, yeah. b before the whole thing is out. Sounds good to me. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And then on top of that, I'm just sort of working on other bits and pieces. Right. So, uh, letting the collision course stuff roll around. Mm -hmm. I've got Mirror's Legion going on and Split Personality, I can see out on the periphery there. It's doing mm -hmm. some stuff. A little dance, I think. Um, so, that's me. That's me, man. That's <laughs> me. Yeah, so, so uh, I think, like, even if it doesn't feel like we're working on collision course i think we're there are li there are these little bits gathering into mm -hmm. the into the info piles already uh, and that's i think that's one of the reasons why why i like the current approach better than uh, than trying to impose chapters from the start is that uh, chapters are sort of the arbitrary measurement or like chapters are for readers but mm -hmm. for as a writer uh, it is not always the most helpful structure unit so as a writer uh, at least for me a structure unit that is bound by uh, story itself uh, is is a priority and mm -hmm. if this unit if if the uh, intrinsical story unit ends up being a chapter well, all the better, but sometimes uh, the dividing stuff to chapters uh, is somewhat different. And then uh, as you work through situations or as you work through the content units, uh, the knowledge of chapter breaks can sometimes, sometimes interrupt it, I, I feel. Mm. That's the potentially interesting way I'm going about Mirror's Legion is uh, the reason for the chapter changes is because of a POV switch between sort of mm -hmm. like mirror yeah, yeah. and what's going on with Rider. But uh, I don't. It, oh, okay, this is really hard to explain. But the the say we're working on chapter one, for example. I know where. I know what I want to happen in chapter two. Mm -hmm. I populate chapter one mm -hmm. with with as much as possible and cut it down and and edit it as need be and and all that. Mm -hmm. But I, I, it's not like it's not like when I say this is this is a chapter. It's not like I'm putting a limit on. I can fill mm -hmm. that, still fill that chapter with material, mm -hmm. but I I know that where it breaks is a POV switch. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is really hard to explain. <laughs> and and um, that's 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 the thing. Like in the final work, the uh, the chapters presented to readers can actually differ from what you're writing now so maybe mm -hmm. maybe this first chunk from one pov uh will uh, will be so long that for the reader's sake you would actually have to break it into two chapters yeah. yeah but uh but yeah as you work on it it's it's like it's all one unit for you mm -hmm. yeah i suppose you could you can't really call them chapters you could just you could essentially label it as mirrors bit Mm -hmm. Kiki and Rolo's mm -hmm. bit, Mira's bit, you mm -hmm. know. Um, the inter one of the interesting things uh, from working with Carl, I noticed, is that I, d with Cal Devaza, I, I set the chapters out real early, and I think I only had like a total of 17 or 18 chapters. Mm -hmm. When Carl came through and edited it and made it more reader friendly, we're now up to like 27 chapters. Mm -hmm. um, and that was just to sort of. Uh, s prevent a bit of head hoppiness because there was a lot of that going mm -hmm. on and to make it so the, the there's more digestible like you're more likely to read I feel, I don't know if this is the case but you're more likely to read through to the end of a 7 page chapter 1 than you are mm -hmm. to read through yep. to a, like a 25 page yeah. chapter 1 yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. so there's all these other little elements like it might work for the story but does it work for the reader and uh, there's all these bits and pieces you need to consider yeah writing's like... writing's hard man <laughs> why would anyone do that <laughs> it's just torture <laughs> <laughs> the worst one's when you're sitting there staring at a blank page but thankfully that hasn't happened to me in a while like mm. i've got a lot of material here that i can just sort of bounce off 
Uh, but that used to be the scariest one when you sit here and you're sort of, no. I want a story to happen, but it's not happening. What, what is the, what am, am I capable of doing this? Um, but then eventually everything stops. Yeah. Uh, for me, it's like I could say uh, it is, it is easy, as in. I already know that my default setting is uh, not being able to work and not being able to write. So I already know that I have to work through it anyway, every time, mm -hmm. all the time. So <laughs> so it's like <laughs> a writer's block. Well, bitch, please. That's I, I live in a writer's <laughs> block. <laughs> <laughs> and and sure, I I, I think it was in uh, I think it was uh, a lecture or an interview with Aaron Sor Sorkin where he said that uh, every time when he has to come up with a script, there is this uh, moment when he feels like, yep, it's not happening, not this time, mm. man. And then once he gets uh, and and he, once he has to work uh, has worked through from this moment of despair. Then suddenly she just pr pours in and and, and comes, yep. but uh, but you have to work up until this 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 point where you're like, yep, nope, not this time, it mm -hmm. ain't coming, <laughs> and you have to have to keep working through it. But yeah, I I, I would say that it's it's kind of liberating, like oh. I, I I don't I don't rely on in inspiration, I don't rely on any magic. I I know that I have to plow through the shit every time. <laughs> Uh, that was probably one of the factors. You know when uh, Pierre, let's just call him by name, used <laughs> to introduce the group to all these sort of like writing prompts and oh, you throw these dice on the table and they give you like five words and all this sort of thing and mm -hmm. use that as your inspiration. Give me my skin crawl. I hate that sort of stuff. Yeah, like, the ideas have got to come from within and you've got to work through certain things. You can't just I mean, it probably works for some people, and if yep. that's how it works for you, great. But it, for me, and I get the feeling for you as well, not, that's not something we can rely on. Yeah. No, I mean, like, uh, you can com uh, certain gimmicks can be useful, and you can mm. combine them with the solid work process, but they don't substitute it. Hmm. Yeah. And I think that was what certain people were going for is that they wanted to yeah. be like this is this is how we create stories and that's no that's not how mm. this works man yeah fuck off bitch yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and to all the peers in the world you fuck off too <laughs> yeah man <laughs> cut that shit out just let people write what they want to write and yeah. stop getting involved <laughs> man this devolved this has turned from a, a roundup to sort of like a miniature therapy session. Ah, well, this has this escalated. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, <man. laughs> also, uh, before I go, uh, thank you to the people who ha who have reviewed Cal de Vaza on Goodreads and on Amazon. That good stuff. Thank you very much. Um, I will take your feedback into account, and I will improve as an author because of it. So, thank you. Um, especially the people who leave actual comments. <laughs> I think left a two-star review, and I think we talked about this. How they might not have got into it, or it might not have just yeah. been, it might not have just been their story, which is fair enough. Totally approve of that. Uh, but there was no sort of like comment or yeah, feedback like as an author, it is useful to know whether somebody didn't like it because it wasn't their thing, or whether somebody didn't mm. like it because of specific reasons. So, yeah, I, yeah. I had, I've, I've had a similar experience uh, with the base camp story, so it's like uh, several people pointing out certain things that, well, I, I might or might not have known about them beforehand, uh, but if, if there are specifics involved that seem to be recurring, uh, then I'm like, yeah, okay, okay, okay. I'm picking some stuff up that I might mm -hmm. be able to fix. But if somebody's like, well, I read through it and I appreciate the effort, but uh, I didn't feel like the story had any point, then I, then I'm like, uh, yeah, let's ignore that. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, it's one of those author skills that they're always talking about. It's Ooh. acknowledging good <laughs> feedback and that and that and knowing which feedback to take. Yeah, like which 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 feedback is useful and which is not. Look at us growing. <laughs> 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 as authors, people might be pushing it, but we're definitely growing as authors. <laughs> yeah, and come to think of it, well. Half of the year is over, so come to think of it, uh, during the first half of the year we have actually produced a shit ton of words and stuff. <laughs> so there is that. It's like when you're when you're inside the uh, process and when you're when you're like when you're in the trenches, you don't see how the sun shines over the next hill. <laughs> mm -hmm. And now. Yeah, I do like how this 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 happens a lot of the time. Though. Like when we were working on scribing the doctor, uh, we it felt like a bit of a ah, oh, this is like walking through treacle kind of thing. And then we come back to it a few months later and we mm. scroll through all the notes. It's like, hang on, there's actually quite a lot of material we can use yeah, here. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. In a better state than we thought it was in. Like, wait a minute, this is actually useful. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you, past selves. <laughs> and then we get back into it, and it's like, okay, well, we've got all this notes. Uh, now what? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah uh, note yourself. Uh, so this is this is already this is not a writing corner note. This is already like uh, writing note. Mm -hmm. uh, note to self. Note to future self. W when uh, when we work on collision course. Uh, as a reminder, uh, we need to, when working through the uh, scribe goes to the moon base to retrieve information, uh, we have to uh, do something or we have to uh, tweak uh, or add something to make it clearer to the readers that he is a data courier going in there to retrieve something. Because mm -hmm. right n right now I'm I have heard from I think two or three different people uh, that they have gotten the impression that Scribe is like an investigator or a, He's or, not a detective or, or, people. yeah yeah not a, not a detective <laughs> uh, so <laughs> I, either either uh, could it could be that these people are, are bouncing off of each other so they have taken each other's comments and are sort of uh, relying on each other's impressions a little bit maybe. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't think the text itself states clearly anywhere what his mission is, and this is this is kind of important. Of course, when put uh, together with larger scaffolding and larger picture, I, I think it. Uh, I think some some of the necessary info just will just come from the larger picture. So it's like, yeah, we we have these. Uh, we have this uh, order organization uh, with people whose job is to retrieve information, just like you have uh, people whose job is to retrieve people. So we have the uh, people bounties, and we have the data bounties, and we will have the scrap bounties. Mm -hmm. uh, essentially, but yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but 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 yeah, when uh, when we when we will. Uh, uh, tweak that part of the story. This is something that we can uh, definitely add to make it clearer. So this yeah. is th look at us. This is us using feedback. <laughs> mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> yep. <laughs> totally. <laughs> um, I can't think of anything else to add. We are. Uh, also, I think we. I finished my tea. Ah, <gasps> travesty! More tea required. <laughs> I, I think, I think we should wrap up this uh, writing, writing corner update. Ta oh, ooh, ooh. talking of tea, can I just say for a second? Thank you, Claire, for getting me this. I still haven't taken the sticker off of it, but it's getting well worn. <laughs> I'm 42 degrees here recently, <laughs> which is an ungodly temperature, even for someone who prefers the summer over the winter. This kept liquid cool it says on the on the side here you can keep ice cubes in this for 60 hours 60 hours i emptied the dribbles out of it this morning they were still freezing cold it's been in there for like four days 
what is going on? So thank you very much. <laughs> you were talking about science. Teddy, I was just like, oh. <laughs> Product placement. This is not a video sponsored by Stanley. <laughs> um, but there you go. That's all I've got. Okay. And with that upbeat note, uh, I think yep. I will uh, stop, uh, gradually stop this recording. Thank you everybody for watching. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, if uh, if if we get more video material, uh, I will put more video material in our channel. I know it's uh, it's been kind of slow after the after the work bursts, so <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, stay tuned. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. Bye.